Hi guys, Professor Harvard here. How are you feeling, brave explorers? Today, we embark on a thrilling quest, a quest to defeat the formidable enemy of negativity and unearth the priceless treasure of positive mental health. Whether you're a teenager or adult, maneuvering the digital terrain can feel like a daring expedition through an unpredictable jungle. It's a world bursting with exhilarating discoveries, yet riddled with perilous pitfalls, like the monsters of social media and the villains of cyberbullying. Media shows off the perfect lives others live, filled with flawless smiles and picturesque sunsets. But beware, adventurers. This is often a deceptive mirage, a highlight reel masking the reality of life's ups and downs. Comparing your unedited, behind-the-scenes footage to the polished highlight video of others is a fast track to feeling disheartened. Now, let's face the villains, the cyberbullies. Lingering in the shadows of comment sections or behind the veil of anonymous messages who aim to bring you down. These adversaries, much like traditional bullies, are likely gra grappling with their insecurities, attempting to elevate themselves by diminishing others. Please click the subscribe and like button below. This helps to spread the good word. Yes, I was bullied at school for being different, but I learned quickly to stand my ground. Here's what you can do if a cyber bully crosses your path. Remember, you're not alone. Please seek the counsel of a trusted adult, a parent, teacher, or counselor. They can assist you in combating the bully, reporting their actions, and reinforcing your inherent worth. Sometimes, we are lost in the chaotic digital jungle, and our brain may require a breather. Recognizing the warning signs is crucial. Persistent feelings of sadness or hopelessness, disrupted sleep patterns, loss of interest in activities you once enjoyed, or unexplained physical ailments may signal that your mental health needs attention. Parents, if you notice these signs in your children, fear not. Your role is to be their ally in this quest. Here are some strategies to conquer the negative enemy together. Firstly, lend an empathetic ear. Rather than lecturing, listen without judgment. The simple act of being heard can make a world of difference. Secondly, harness the power of I statements. Swap accusatory phrases like, you're always on your phone, with expressions of concern such as, I feel worried when you spend so much time online. This facilitates open dialogue without inciting defensiveness. Lastly, extend your support and resources. Offer assurance that they are not alone and introduce them to professionals who can provide further assistance if required, like therapists or support groups. Please remember that maintaining mental health is as vital as caring for physical health. You need to rest and recharge your brain daily. Disclaimer. Professor Harvard and the Harvard Medical Center are not associated with or represent Harvard University or any of its affiliates in any way. Thank you for watching.